And in today's DX Daily, we're joined by Drew Coria from Providence, Rhode Island, but he's here in Los Angeles because now he's at a and at Aftermath. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, how's everything going? Uh, really well, yeah, yeah. And congratulations also with the success of the Compton record, a soundtrack by Dr. Dre, which you also worked on. So I understand you. You, uh, you had something to do with the Animals record on there. Uh, yeah, so um, it's kind of a long story, but uh, to shorten it up for you, basically, I kind of put Dre on and the rest of the team, my boss Ty Cannon, onto like uh, Anderson Pop. Right. Yeah, through his group, no worries that he has with knowledge. Right. Uh, I played the song uh, Suede in the studio. Everybody was really digging it. Brought him in, started working on music with him. I think the first song they did together was uh, All in a Day's Work. And, uh, and uh, kind of built with his manager. And I know he had uh, went to Russia and they worked on a few records with Premiere. His uh, manager, Adrian, played me Animals, which was uh, had a different title before. And um, I, was, I heard it and I was like, yo, you, you have to play this for Dre. And so I got my boss and I told him like, yo, you gotta hear this song. So we all went in the studio, played it. And at first, Dre was just like, yo, I wanna, I wanna get on this, like for you, you know? And then it kind of slowly uh, turned into, yo, can I have this for the album? And uh, you know, once they kind of finished the record, Premiere came out, they worked on it. It was just like a crazy experience though, for sure. So let's take it back uh, before we get back to Animals. How did you get affiliated and get to work with Dr. Dre and Aftermath? Um, that's kind of like a weird story. But um, so I moved out here about like a year and a half ago. Um, and I have like a very uh, close friend with my man King Mez. So uh, he came out here to uh, work on some music and he was like like just staying at the crib and we were just moving around doing certain things and he randomly got a call from uh, who is my boss now Ty Cannon to come in and uh, work on some music and so we like literally were in the car we think we we're on the 101 turned around went to the studio I, I kind of just got in there as like yo just a homie and I uh, was just there for a few days with him building with people and uh, you know, at one point, my man Ty was like, things are about to pick up, I'm gonna need some help, Yo, you wanna work? And I was like, are you, are you kidding, you know? Right, right. And, um, no, I don't, I don't wanna work with the, yeah. you know, some of the biggest people in music history. Yeah, know? exactly, <laughs> so, you know, I was like, yeah, and so I just like, was in there like every day for like the past 11 months now, okay. just like, you know, trying to put in work and, you know, do whatever they needed to get done. So, as the song Animals developed, as you were, bringing everything to the table, hearing it evolve, hearing it develop. Like what, explain the process of what that is. Cause most people don't understand, you know, how a song gets created from start to finish. Yeah. So for you, what did you see the evolution of the song and, and how it ended up being? Um, was well, just to see Dre work and like create, whether it's like a song, a project, a verse, is just like, it's like crazy in itself. Um, there's just so much work goes into it, so many, you know, his hands in everything from, you know, what's being said to like certain sounds. It's just like a, it's like, it's like a crazy process. I mean, I seen him spend, you know, five, six, like seven days just working on one song, one part of a song. Um, so like sonically, that's why his music sounds the way it does. Um, definitely like a crazy learning experience just being involved. And then what's next for you in Aftermath? Um, start working on uh, more projects. Uh, you know, John Connor is signed. Got a few more people might be signed to the label very soon. Um, so it's like, I think John's going to be, you know, the next thing. And he does a yeah. great job on Compton as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He killed, he killed it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Super right, talented. Drew. Well, we appreciate you coming through. Drew Coria, Aftermath Entertainment, worked on... Compton, the soundtrack by Dr. Dre in stores now. And we appreciate you coming through, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right, DX Daily, Hip Hop DX. Thank you.